our Tesla battery right here. Why well, is it in a Bosch box? Oh, just so you could carry it around. And oh, so you just found that it fits the battery? Just fits the battery. That's nice. Fits the battery real nice. So this plugs right into here. Uh-huh. And what we have inside the box is the battery. And the battery controller. Or what's well, called the BMS. Uh-huh. So you press the button. Okay. Now the unit's on. So you know it's on, but now you can use the tablet to check all the voltage and whatnot. Yep. That's nice. Do you have to open the box to use it? No, I just open it up so you can see it. Okay, now the inverter's plugged in. And then we turn the inverter on, you can see the inverter power. Now we plug our saw right into the inverter. And we have 22.44 volts left. Hmm. Is that fully charged? No, the fully charged is 24 volts. Mm -hmm. 24. So it's at about 77% charge rate. And we'll be able to see how much juice the saw actually takes when I start the saw. Cool, let's see. It takes about 20 amps from the battery into the inverter. Anyway, we'll make a couple of That saw was taking about 500 watts to run, so how long could it... Uh... How long could you continuously cut all day with that? Like how many hours if you were non-stop? It'll run for about eight hours on this saw right If here. you non-stop cutting all day long? Non-stop cutting, non-stop cutting. You could, if you held I, that saw on for eight hours straight. So if you were starting, uh, say you were starting a house and your, um, your utility wasn't connected yet, you could, uh, you could still set your crew to work with a battery like that and they'd be, they'd be good to go all day, right? No generator, no gasoline, no oil changing. Just charge it up overnight and it'll run all day. Excellent. Now here we have the charger. Ooh. Okay. And you'll see it start to charge. Ooh, I can hear it. The fans in the charger turned on. Oh, look at that. It's got almost uh, 1200 watts coming in. So how long will that take to charge up? Uh, right now, I think it'll take about three hours to charge because it's not fully discharged. Okay, so you just charge that up overnight and then work with the battery all day? That's it. Most of the Tesla batteries, okay, if they're not damaged, are usable, okay? They're not 100%. They wouldn't put them back in another car, but we could still use them for projects like this. Absolutely, that's any used battery you get at 5300 watt hours is not true if somebody sells you a battery and they say it's a 5300 watt hour battery it is a 5300 watt hour battery 10 years ago yeah 5300 watt hours in it it was the first time they put it in the car right exactly overkill solar tests the batteries and tells you exactly how many watt hours are left and the price is determined by the watt hour Except that we don't actually have them up for sale because it was too much of a pain to ship them so far. True, you can pick them up. You can pick them up if you want to come down to sunny Naples, Florida.